Do I have some juicy details about the Food City 500 at Bristol Motor Speedway that you won't want to miss? Kyle Larson is absolutely furious about the race, but NASCAR Senior VP John Prubbs thinks it was one of the best short track races ever. Who's right? We're about to dive into the record-breaking statistics, tire management drama, and the wildly different perspectives from the drivers themselves. What Denny Hamlin, Brad Keselowski, and Chase Briscoe have to say about this bizarre race. Plus, we'll compare it to short track racing and discuss the future of racing at Bristol. If you haven't already, subscribe to NASCAR Insider and hit that notification bell. First up, let's talk about Kyle Larson's reaction. He was absolutely furious about the race, saying, I've never ran a race like that. I hope I never have to run a race like that again. Kyle Larson even went as far as calling it a black eye to Goodyear due to the tire wear issues. Yikes! On the other hand, NASCAR senior VP John Probst had a completely different take. He described the race as one of the best short track races I've ever seen. Now let's dive into the record-breaking statistics that made this race so unique. The Food City 500 saw an incredible 54 lead changes, shattering the previous track record of 40 set way back in 1991. But that's not all. 16 different drivers led laps during the race, tying the track record set in April 1989. And if you thought that was impressive, get this. Only five drivers finished on the lead lap, something that hasn't happened since Dover in 2004. What was the deal with all the tire issues? Well, it turns out that NASCAR actually allowed Goodyear to give each team an additional set of tires during the race. This decision came after they had initially removed a set of tires from the fall race allotment. As the race progressed, there were growing concerns about whether there would be enough tires to even finish the event. What did the drivers think about all this? Let's start with the winner, Denny Hamlin. He credited his victory to his short track racing experience, saying, this is the first time the driver played a huge role in a long, long time. It's a different philosophy from what we're used to, which is everyone just kind of on the gas all the time running the bottom. Technique was a huge deal today. Hamlin emphasized the importance of technique and tire management throughout the race. Brad Keselowski, who finished third, described the race as interesting and noted that it required a lot of discipline from the drivers. He said, there was a lot of discipline required and it was a fun race, to be honest, because you just had to be so smart behind the wheel. Brad Keselowski said, it would bite you in a heartbeat and you had to have a good setup. Chase Briscoe, on the other hand, called it by far the most bizarre race I've probably ever been a part of, comparing it to a cat and mouse game where you had to constantly worry about tire wear. Justin Haley, despite finishing 17th, actually enjoyed the challenge saying, I loved it. I don't know what social media says, but as a driver, I thought it was fun because you had to manage it. Let's compare this race to short track racing. John Hunter Nemechek likened it to an oversized Pensacola with tire wear, referring to the famous short track in Florida known for its tire management challenges. In short track racing, particularly in late model events, managing tire wear is crucial to success. What does this mean for the future of racing at Bristol? Denny Hamlin expressed concern that Goodyear might overcompensate and bring a rock-hard tire for the September race, which he believes isn't what the sport needs. On the other hand, Chris Gabehart, Hamlin's crew chief, thinks that challenges and strategy are essential elements of the sport. He argued, this is supposed to be sport. It's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to force these guys to make decisions in the car. The Food City 500 at Bristol Motor Speedway was a race unlike any other. The unique tire wear challenges, record-breaking statistics, and varied driver opinions made for an unforgettable event. Some loved it, some hated it, but one thing's for sure, it got everyone talking. All right, NASCAR fans, there you have it. The inside story on the absolutely wild Food City 500 at Bristol Motor Speedway. From Kyle Larson's fury to the record-breaking statistics and tire management drama, this race had it all. But the question remains, was it a masterpiece of short track racing or a complete disaster? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to NASCAR Insider for more exclusive NASCAR content. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.